Welcome to see the let's play of Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age. Yeah, I picked this game up. It was, fr it was pretty new, um, recently, and I was trying to cancel my card and they told me that, uh, that I still had um, rewards points enough to, like, say, buy, like, $45. So I went and got Final Fantasy XII, took all my rewards points and then paid it for $20. And I thought it would be a good idea to broadcast and let's play on this so let's start I do like the opening intro all right I have to do this and uh, subtitles because I want to be able to read speed mode multiplier in English I always like the English I know I have subtitles already, but I prefer English voice over, over Japanese because I don't want to just have to rely on reading. I want to hear what they're saying. Screwing is presents. To be fair, I've I played the first three hours, so I'm, I'm, this is nothing new, but also a comment. And I really like this, actually. It really is. looks really fantastic. I love it. I definitely like the style. Very weird. I would not have liked this when I was 15 years old or younger. I was much more into like Final Fantasy 13 or um, actually I was right on to um, I played Rogue Galaxy for the PS2, and this was the game that was released along with Final Fantasy 12. And I looked at this like Final Fantasy 12. And I'm like, ah, some weird monsters. Oh damn, all this. that looks nice, but Rogue Galaxy is the best thing ever. I didn't, I didn't like or was interested in the combat system. I know that was open world and very much of a like a online MMORPG actually. That's the best way I can describe it. But I always liked the turn-based combat of JRPGs. I never could really get into that um, style of play for this game. May the blessings of the gods light your path for all eternity. It seemed like a bag mixture of turn-based but moving around, which actually is pretty cool. Another thing about it. it's actually it's actually pretty good. Doesn't mean that these are lined up against enemies. They can actually have a sort like a melee class character in front taking all the damage, and ma magic users throwing magic instead of the turn-based combat, which was you know everyone get, can get a free shot. And little <laughs> Nabodis has fallen. Impossible. Mm. My father? I know not. I am sorry. If Nabodis has indeed fallen, it is only a matter of time before they reach the borders of Dalmasca. Okay. The first thing I want to say, when I, when I started this game, the last thing I wanted to say. And I will go start inside. off was giving given a 20 minute cutscene exposition dump with these different countries being just thrown out there and I'm like oh okay I guess this country is against this country now oh, okay cool let's go with it guys yeah I'm so pumped for these guys like barely know like literally five minutes into it but kind of those cool so I'll go with it yeah mm. So it looks pretty good. I like it. Galtea, stand watch over your life. That I be considered worthy. Now, obviously, these characters should be important enough to survive the cutscene. As I soon find out, that's not the case. Oh, spoilers, by the way. Five minutes, ten minutes into it. Okay, so first off, my big my biggest problem with this is that this, since there's no context to the fight or why I should be invested, I mean, this looks fantastic, by the way. 
and I move on, but it's sort of kind of hard to feel sad. I don't know why they're fighting. Now, I like Final Fantasy 15 for doing that. Well, you don't know why the kingdoms are fighting because you're mainly playing from a teenager being raised to adults with friends who doesn't understand half the world. So you're sort of journeying through him and his confusion and, and not understanding the whole political affairs around the kingdom. So since I'm being dumped first head on into political conflict without first understanding sort of the context or say the build up to that, it is sort of hard to sort of like say, okay, so who are the good guys and bad guys? Um, who, what are they fighting for? Uh, I mean, that was a good shot to the face, but um, uh, that's another good shot to the face. But I don't really care. No, guys. Paling still stands. No, that still stands. Oh no, what about that? Never failing that. Oh no, the bad guys kill them. Oh, oh. Oh no! Am I supposed to feel sad? I don't know. I can't feel sad. For this. The paling's fallen! It's the paling's fallen! For my father. For my, my father. father! For my father! No Thank you, sir. Now, of course, this is RPG logic, which, or fantasy logic, which is a shot, no matter where it is, it will always be fatal. You know, it's very likely that, you know, he could probably actually survive that. And if he doesn't, then that's pretty bad armor you're wearing there, just saying. of the Great Father descend, and guide your bodies return to the Earth. Great Father, guide your spirits return to the Mother of All. There you shall find peace. Far on. For the good part about why I do like this opening, given that I said sort of that there was no contest, I can't believe really it. The death of Lord Rasla Heos Nebradia was but one of many tragedies to befall the kingdom of Darnaska. Darnaska. The air of hope that had surrounded Her Royal Highness Princess Asha's wedding was now quite lost. Dalmaska had been set adrift at the mercy of history's restless tides. At this time, two great empires struggled for dominion over Ivalice. Arcadia in the east, Rosaria in the west. The invasion of the kingdom of Nebradia was Arcadia's first step in its westward march. With Lord Rosla's beloved homeland consumed by the hell fires of war, it seemed clear that Arcadia would soon meet out a like fate to Darmaska. The fall of the fortress at Naldana told the destruction of the greater part of Dalmasca's forces. A counterattack was mounted by the order of the Knights of Dalmasca, ever brave and faithful. But against the martial might of the Arcadian armies, they stood little chance of victory. Indeed, their defeat was to be absolute. Soon thereafter, Arcadia came forward, offering terms of peace, or, as one might rather put it, Terms of Dalmasca surrender. Lord Romanos, King of Dalmasca, and my dear friend, had no choice but to accept these terms. It was, thus, only with reluctance that he set out for Nalbina Fortress, now under Arcadian occupation, 
to affix his seal to the Emperor's Treaty of Peace. The king had scarce departed his royal city of Rabanasta when the remnants of the order made their return, and not a moment too soon, for a terrible revelation awaited them. The treaty would be signed with steel and writ in royal blood. Okay, so the, the thing I want to say is, as someone who has studied history and has taken history of Christianity, one thing that I do like is Can you hear me? this historical take. Um, obviously, it's not going to excite everyone who reads it, but for me, to sort of read the countries and finally gain some context allows me to then understand sort of where the country stands, where these characters stand, what's the political Mike, issue at the thanks, time, Rex. and now yeah. I can actually be Rex. somewhat invested in these characters. We bore a few cuts, but you are still hoping. I don't believe that this sort of thing is inherently bad to storytelling. I think it's a perfectly suitable way to Think you understand, fight? say, the history fine, of how of the culture and thereby understanding the characters you're about sir. to play. Because later you Young. you play I, a character my brother not is this all one, I have left, sir. Afterwards. He's two years younger than I, living in Rabinaster. I have a sneaky so suspicion that the main character is this guy's brother. You're barely but, uh, old enough to be a man. I'm gonna you shouldn't be forced to wield a sword. No, sir. I want to fight for my homeland. And for my parents. It's time, Bosch. Save the discussion for later. We must reach the king before they act, or all our efforts will be in vain. I'm aware of the situation. We found them over there! Bosler, go ahead. I will handle this rabble. Godspeed. To be honest, kind of not, not at all exciting. But, uh, that's a Steady good. Rex. Keep your wits about you and you'll make it. We move! So we get this guy. No, we get to play this trip. The trip here. We get to play as him. Are we being mindful of your surroundings? Use the left stick to move. I understand that. Talk to him. I have not much to say. The hero is always free. What is once for back in the vast nest. Just listen to Captain and we'll get through this. We'll enter the forest through this gate. We must go! See the market? That's called an action icon. One of these will appear when you approach a door, a switch, an item, or the like. To learn more about what you found, walk close in any icon will change, then press A. X. Now try opening the gate. Open the gate. Where's my trophy, damn it? I want my trophy. I mean, darn it. I want my trophy. That's how easy trophies nowadays. Oh, some people say, let me check something with my trophy. Uh, 